asking for my great grandma Kate. We were taking care of my uh, my grandmother, which is her great grand, and um, she would have this collard green story. You cut off the heads of the collard greens, right? And you stick them back into the dirt. And when you stick them back into the dirt, they, they regrow. Yeah, they regrow um, and make beautiful flowers from just the stem back into the dirt. So we started with the patio garden and we put those collard green stems back in the dirt and just like that, what she said came true. Agroculture um, was something that we kind of collectively um, figured out. Like, what we wanted agriculture, but um, we wanted it to be different. You know, you can't say just agriculture because that's everything. Um, so we wanted the business to grow with Kindle. When it comes to um, the commercial growers, I think um, what what we want to push more for is a more community-based uh, growing because that's uh, more natural. You can have more contact with your your local farmer. Uh, you know where your food's coming from. You can come check out their farm and uh, see how they grow, what chemicals they use or not use. Yeah, be a part of the process. You could be a part of the process. Yeah, and you could just, it, it, it's, you get good food in, in turn for your support, you know. So I think that's what we see is, uh, should be the future of, uh, of farming, but um, that's, that's, that's our goal is to be community based. That's the beauty of our business is that it's hands on and I know it's COVID, but you know, we're still hands on and showing people and providing for our community that this is, this is the food that we grow. This is what we love to eat. You know, hey, come and experience it with us. Carrots, because they are delicious. <laughs>